This is my uh, polyhedral wing uh, single boom pusher. Uh, it's uh, rudder elevator throttle, no ailerons, uh, making it a very easy plane to fly. Um, if you wanted a plane to learn on, this would be the one. Uh, I wish I had started on this plane. Uh, my learning experience would have been a lot quicker. Now, what do I mean by polyhedral? Um, you can see that this wing angles up from the root, uh, from the centre there, and also at the wing tips. Uh, dihedral is uh, just one angle angling up from the root, and that's that's a normal flat Armand style wing. So why have a polyhedral wing? Uh, well, when you only have rudder elevator and no ailerons. You need the polyhedral to assist with turning and also to some extent it makes the plane self-leveling uh, so that, that makes it very easy to fly. This wing started off as a 1.2 metre flat wing um, with ailerons uh, and I decided I wanted to try something with polyhedral so I locked off the ailerons, um, took the spar out and it just inserted a aluminium tube that was bent up to the right angle that I wanted in there and that and the foam formers are all that are holding this um, polyhedral angle. It could probably do with some spars in there, it's a little bit flexy this one. Now as I said this plane has no ailerons which means that uh, it's only held on by the rubber bands the only connection between the wing and the um, fuselage are those rubber bands. It's just a wing. There's no servo connections needed, which makes it nice and easy. As usual, I have uh, taped an icy pole stick here at the front and back just to stop the rubber bands uh, denting the foam where it goes across. Now the fuselage uh, it's based on one 32 inch arrow shaft uh, and then the, the body here is just a uh, 4 inch by 2.5 inch <coughs> square box. Uh, I've tapered down the front a little bit. All I've done is taken a slice out here and glued the top down. Uh, I've narrowed the rear section here uh, just to give a bit of airflow to the propeller uh, as well as onto the rudder. The rudder is your main directional control so you need good airflow going onto there. I've left the top deck full width uh, to give more for the motor to mount onto and the motor mount is aluminium bent up into an L shape, double sided tape onto the ID card which is hot glued onto the top of the uh, fuselage. Uh, the ESC is just runs around the outside here for ease of access and cooling. The wing tie downs, um, carbon fibre rods uh, and reinforced with ID card plastic where it passes through the foam. I have a little hatch here just for access to the receiver in there. Servos are just mounted on the horizontal and vertical stabilizers uh, and wires run forward into the fuselage and I also have a little landing skid there just to keep the tail up off the ground when it comes in for a belly landing. Uh, I have velcro here and here that's just to mount a camera onto when I want to do some filming and the nose cone is my usual soft squishy packing foam, velcro tabs and a tongue to uh, mount the battery on. To attach the fuselage to the boom, uh, I have two strips of foam either side of the arrow, lots of glue in between and tape over the top as well. And the same with the tail, I have two strips of foam, uh, glue that onto the arrow shaft uh, and then I've actually shaped that down a little bit as well. Now one problem with just having a single boom is that the, uh, the tail is quite flexy. Uh, I don't think it really matters for a for a beginner level plane, um, but that's just the way it is. 
Now with the motor up this high, uh, it can tend to push the plane over. Um, so a little bit of forward angle um, gets rid of that tendency. You just have to uh, fly the plane and try it. So how much dihedral do you want? Well, not very much probably. Um, this one is about two and a half inches up at this point here about five inches up at the tip. That's plenty. All right, I'll give you some dimensions. Uh, the wing is 1.5 meter wingspan or 60 inch. Uh, cord is 200 millimeters or eight inches. Uh, and that's a good size for a nice slow flying glidey plane. Uh, the fuselage and nose is uh, 480 millimeters or 16 inches. Uh, the tail is 12 inches by 6, elevator 1.5 inches, rudder is about 7 inches at the widest point down to 3 inches at the top and about 8 inches high. And because the rudder is the main directional control I've, I've made quite a large uh, control surface, uh, probably more than you need, um, <coughs> but I'd go for at least a 2 inch rudder. And I've, I just rounded off the tips here for, for looks really. It doesn't really need to be rounded off, but it uh, just looks a little bit better. So that's the polyhedral winged single boom pusher, uh, which is a fantastic beginner's plane and for cruising around slowly. Uh, with this size wing, it's quite a decent glider as well. So, another one to try. Mm -hmm.